Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. So I got a different kind of video today. So if you don't know, I've been a game dev for about 4 years now, and I just wanted to analyze this new side order trailer we got, even though there's not much. Okay, but the story behind how I found the trailer is pretty funny. So I was just scrolling on YouTube, and I saw this post from Prochara, again. And it's just like, OMG, side order release date trailer, might play. So I'm like, this is obviously fake. But there was a video link, so I clicked it, and I'm like, OMG, side order release date trailer, real! And I watched the video like four times and decided to try and analyze it from my perspective as a platoon player and a game dev. So here we go. So the first thing I noticed was in this train scene, which is what made me think it was fake at first, because I'm just like, uh, I've seen this? But aside from that, I'm sure we all noticed this part, if you've watched the trailer. This is Muck Warfare playing. I mean, it does make sense, because well, off the hook song, but does it really tell us anything? I don't think so. Okay, this next one is just like over speculating, but this next thing I noticed on my first watch was this weird thing that wasn't in the previous trailers, I think. Other than just being there, I have no idea what it is, but I do feel like it would mean something other than just aesthetics, because it doesn't look like anything specific, and it's not actually an Encopolis Square. So, that's everything I found outside of this main image here. But now moving on to this image, because there is a lot, I have to say. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is Marina over here in the top left. I noticed this first because we haven't seen her in any of the side order info for almost a year now. So I was looking for her, because like, where is she? Also, this does seem to be a new outfit. Even though it's just a headshot, these headphones don't appear in any of her other outfits, so... Anyways, moving on to the top right, we see Pearl, and she's not a drone. I honestly have no idea what to say on her other than maybe she is controlling the drone instead of actually being it. I initially thought this because of information on side order posted by Nintendo a while back, but that's pretty much it other than the new outfit. So right in between the two are these inklings and I think octolings with red eyes that resemble the dead fish, but I'll talk more about them later. So. It's this weird boss again. It might not be a boss, but let's be real, it probably is. I feel like it has more significance than what I thought originally, because it's been shown in two trailers now, so it's gotta mean something. Maybe a final boss? Or maybe not, because my game dev intuition says they wouldn't show that in promotional trailers. So it might be something else, but I also sorta doubt it. Okay, so this next one might be a bit spoilery, so if you don't want to hear this, Skip to this timestamp on screen right now. Okay, now that all the losers are gone, let's talk about this thing, and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It's a giant clamshell, and I know this has to be the Octo Girl from Splatoon 1. Like, look at them! They do have their differences, but I also remember a while back there were a bunch of side order files and leaks, and one of them was noted as Octo World in brackets, I think so. I can't find what site it was on or screenshot, but maybe editing me will find it. Oh, also, back to this boss, there are these dead fish swirling around it, so yeah, uh, there's that, I don't know. I don't have much to say on that. Okay, this next one is interesting. Uh, who is this guy? I'm not smart enough to know what sea creature this is, but I am smart enough to know that he looks like an air raid siren, and he's for sure the mastermind of whatever's going on here. So it might not be that lobby guy whose name I forgot, but he might have some relation, I don't know. Although Frythusius made some good points about his claws being bleached and him having a model in the game as if he was a character to actually be shown in the game, but you should see his video on that. Anyways, look at his hand gesture, he looks like a fly, like as if he's plotting something. And villain rule number one is that if they rub their hands together like that, it means they're evil. Well, I guess he's not really rubbing them, but he's about to, I can tell. So remember when I said I talk about these anglings and maybe octolings up here on top of this boss? Well, here's that part of the video, because I think Mr. Air Raid Siren over here is responsible for this, and he enslaved the civilians of Inkopolis Square using this black goop like Commander Tartar did with the octolings and the primordial ooze. Okay, I also forgot to talk about this, kind of because we already know what they are, but the color chips are here. Yeah. Oh yeah, dead fish too. I think she probably has nothing to do with the Air Raid Siren guy. Anyways, other than Agent 8 and the Pearl Drone, there's nothing else I could really find. Now it's time for what I think getting this trailer means right now. I heard a good theory somewhere about this trailer being shown at Nintendo Live, 
which was cancelled. Which is fair, but this just got announced, so that doesn't really work anymore, but yeah. I think Side Order is pretty much done by now, or they won't show a release date, and they could either be localizing, troubleshooting, bug fixing, or polishing, or all of them. Anyways, that's all I got. You can check out this video, where I went quad aerospray and extended Q-set. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know your side order theories below, and have a good one.